Easy, easy child. Easy. Hear my voice. The world around you is cold and dark and loud. But my voice cuts through all. Your body is wrapped in pain. What you are feeling is your humanity running from you. Your soul fleeing the night in terror. Feel my hand. Grip it as hard as you can. My voice is alive. this night and every night for the rest of your life. It's so cold. I know, I know. My, my body is incapable of warming you, but my words will calm you. I feel, I feel so weak. What is going on? Your transformation is now complete. You are no longer human, child. You are the blood of my blood. You are a demon. You are a vampire. But I... But I feel even worse. I feel so sick. So weak. This is your birth. And the birth does not come without pain in fear. Do you remember what happened? I, I remember. We talked for hours. Days. I remember begging. Begging for you to open the door to the darkness. I think you did. But there was no warm, dark embrace. It was explosions and Light. Blood. Were you on fire? Bright. Loud. Burning. Good. You are progressing properly. Never forget this moment. Let it guide you. Can you see my face now? Excellent. I'm going to sit you up now. I believe you are ready. Why do I feel so horrible? I thought after being turned I would have great strength. <laughs> My, that is many a line a sire has given, but, but please, do not despair. Trust me when I tell you. This pain, this weakness that you're feeling will soon leave you after your first feedings. But it may take months or, or years even before you reach your full strength, your full potential. Don't worry about that now. Your, your main focus is your first feed. Here, I want to get a look at you. Let me, let me see your eyes. Oh my. Your eyes are an interesting shade of yellow. Lovely, yet problematic. Problem? What problem? My eyes aren't black like yours? <laughs> Much like humans, eye color for vampires can be random. I've always found that leftover mortal trait endearing. The dramatic color of your eyes can be a dead giveaway for a vampire. <laughs> no pun intended. I've always had an easier time blending with my black eyes. Yours will be a bit more of a challenge. When you leave here, keep your head lowered and stay in the shadows as much as possible. When I leave, you're not going with me? In time, we will be inseparable. But not now. You must do this first feed on your own. Are you kidding? I can't do that. I'm so weak. I'm weaker than I was before. You can and you will. I didn't turn you if I didn't think you could do this. But remember, I was your captive for months, starved and often drugged. But you did what you had to do. I'm starting to believe there was no other way this could have happened. But my point being is, one feeding is not going to bring me back to full strength, not even close, after months of captivity. There's no way you and I could just 
walk, let alone fight, our way out of here. You and I are just a shade of what we are and what we will be. Jesus, I don't know. I haven't a clue how to start. Yes, you do. Follow your instincts. But if you get lost, focus on my voice. You can hear it, can't you? Like a thundering heartbeat. Good, good. Let it guide you. If you feel yourself starting to slip, starting to fall, focus on my voice. My voice can keep you from falling into the abyss. Now, a few words of advice, and these are important. Do not, no matter how tempting, do not feed on anyone in the sanctuary. That will raise an alarm that we are not ready for. Second, be mindful of time. I do believe it is dark now, but as the sun begins to come up, you'll feel it. You'll feel a tingle, a slight burn on your spine long before the sun comes up. Pay attention to that. If you find yourself in a place where you can't get back in time, find shelter and wait. I will be fine. Okay. No sanctuary. Watch the time. Good. Okay. Good. I I think there's a pencil over there. Can you hand it to me, please? Oh. Oh, thank you. How long have I been down here? I mean, how long have I been gone? Oh, I don't know. Maybe about eight hours, maybe more. Why? It's still very quiet up there. Hasn't anyone been down to see me? No one has been down here. Surely we must have made some noise or something. I have my theories. Odd. Anyway, here. Take this. There are some things that I, well, we are going to need if we plan to get out of here alive. What is this? Shh, no, no, no. Don't worry about that right now. There are things you, there are things you are not ready to know. It will cloud you distract you. Your first priority is your feed, and you must feed properly and plenty if we plan to get out of here and alive, so to speak. I have to get out of these ridiculous clothes. No, no, no. Listen to me. Listen to me. You must maintain the rules of a priest a little longer. I promise you, soon, we will have everything we want. Anyway, remember, when you leave here, walk calmly, keep your head down. You'll have no problems at all. Now, when you reach the outside, I do, if memory serves me, I do believe that there is a bridge nearby and a homeless camp beneath. Stick with easy prey. Now, if, if you wake them, they will see you as a priest. Use it. I don't think I need to tell you that you... You are not going to overpower anyone. And that magic gift of thrall that everyone so yammers on and on about has not manifested itself in you. Use your instincts, your cunning, your wits. Be smart. Do you understand? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. 